We moved on to this campus my first year, the first six months actually, or no, it was the first four months, we lived in town at the Guru Nanak Navas, at the Golden Temple, and that was our dorms, so we'd get on buses and drive all the way out here, and this campus had like two buildings, one little administrative rat shack, we called it, and then the dining facility, and that was all it had. There was not a single blade of grass, not one tree, no, no border wall, no nothing but dirt and brick buildings and that was it our nickname for the school back in the day meaning pre uh like 2002 2003 when davising from florida the landscaper donated all that money and all the plants he actually donated the actual plants the nickname for the school back then was mars because it was like the red planet there was silt sand dirt and brick for the first six months of that year, we would transport from Nanak Navas to the school campus every day. And then we'd come back to Nanak Navas and we did PT on the roof and they brought Sri Narankar back. And that was, they brought Fred Jamison, who we called Commandant, who was also known as Punch Pravan. He was a staff member that year. That was his first year. We are proud to claim the title of United States Marine. About mid mid year at winter break, we moved on campus right after winter break, I believe, and that was the first year of MPA. So that was 20 years ago. So my name is Sahaj Singh. Um, I went to school at GNFC and GRD, the precursors to MPA, and I was staff. Uh, at the time MPA was formed. The Sri Singh Sub would travel over here, Yogi Bhajan would travel over here, and he would meet with the staff, he would meet with the students, and in many different ways making clear what his expectations were and what his uh, standards were. And he, set the, the, he set the course for the school, he set the mission for the school um, very clearly in how he communicated with all of us. Throughout the time, especially the first few years, obviously that Yogaji was healthy, Susan Sab was healthy and still traveling to India when MPA had been established, he was very much in contact with everyone at the school, of course the principal and you know the leadership of the school and the board and the people that were working directly under him, but he also singled me out several times and kind of gave me these little pieces of of his vision and his mission and said to make sure you know, that, that this stuff was upheld. And one of those was that he wanted every student to graduate as a trained Kulini Yoga teacher and certified Kulini Yoga teacher, as per our community's uh, system that we have in place now with KRI. So that's a level one teacher training. At that point, that's all there was. And then also that he wanted them to be trained as ministers of Sikh Dharma. So my first year here, there, there was very little formal training for Kulini Yoga already going at the school. So it was a bit of a challenge to try and, and include that in any large way, but we certainly started meditating every day and doing small things and, and letting them feel that it was impactful and that it, it could move them through these challenging times. By the time we moved to the campus that first year, in the second half of the year, a group of them actually approached us and asked if we could run a Kundalini Yoga teacher training course at the school which myself and, and Kirpal Singh, who was the principal at that time, uh, got permission from KRI, and that was the first level one course. You know, it's gone from 20 years ago, it really was not a cool thing or an inspired or a, or a looked up to thing to practice yoga and to meditate and to learn this stuff at their age. And you know, now it's, it's very much part of the, the culture of the school and the mood of the school and the feeling of the kids that you know, they are here for that precise. Here we are this morning at the GT. It's wonderful. I'm feeling good. Right behind me, we're going to do Seva this morning. Of course, I'm acting like I'm you know, a pro at this, but this will be my first time.
Seva, the Golden Temple. I, my first year was 99, 2000, and I don't, I was 11 years old, it's a bit blurry, but I don't remember particularly doing 40 day Seva, but I remember it was available every single day, optional. And I loved going, I, I remember going a lot. You just ask a senior, they'd wake you up, they'd go, no staff went, it was just taken by a 12th grader, you have a senior student who'd take the trip, and they would determine when the bus came back, and it was very loose. Uh, it was an awesome way to start the day. I loved doing the Golden Temple so much. It was one of my favorite things my first year. After that, then my second year, 2000, 2001, and every year after that, there was always 40 Day Seva. And it was really cool to be able to go with the whole school. And that was always a highlight of the year. It's always been, and always will be. Nineteen ninety nine was the Tinsosala year where the Swissingsa brought the whole Yatra to Anandprasad. So from about December first until Visakhi, the school was sent out from December until I would say March first, we were sent out every week to some program in a village to go do Gatka and Kirtan and all that kind of stuff. And we were doing Seva the that was Prakarma Seva was kinda of normal that, that that time already. And we would do that too, but we go out to some village program and do Kirtan, Gatka, promote this event that was coming up in Anandpursa. By March, March 1st, they put us on a bus, the whole school, and we were in a different village every day doing something. And so we weren't even at the school campus for the end of the year. We were out doing different Nagar Kirtans, different Gatka stuff, different this and that for pretty much a month until the Yatra came for Baisakhi in April. And then we were the official security for that event. And we, Sushing Sab, assigned, assigned us the task of crowd control for that event. And then we were part of the security team to pave the way for the Sushing Sab and the Yatra to go in and give, present the sword. We were part of all the Nagar Kirtans that happened with Gatka and everything like that. Um, and then after the Yatra, we all went back to the school and finished out the year. Morning! Morning! Good job. <laughs> so uh, the year that we spent three months in Anampursab, 2001, it was uh, probably one of my all-time favorite times at MPA. All-time favorite. It was the most amazing time I ever remember. Every morning, we'd get up, we'd run, we'd usually end our run at either Keshgar Gurdwara, go in and bow, or Anandagar Gurdwara, where we'd bow and then run up and down the stairs and the winning house would get ladus or sweets straight from Jugget's hands, he'd always buy a box every morning. The rule was, until the complaining stopped, we'd keep running, which I think is a really good rule. Every afternoon we did yoga, I remember we did Sodarshan Chakra Kriya for, and, and Kirtan Kriya, and Sat Kriya for 40 days. There was a big push to do 108 Sarabandandes every day for Gutka. We had a lot of Gutka, a lot of wrestling. A lot of yoga and meditation, then every afternoon we go to Dashmesh Academy, which is near Gurdwara Karagar, which is a little further away, and they had all the facilities, so we still got to play basketball, ultimate frisbee, and just hang out in a much nicer place. And then every evening we'd go to Keshgar, the Tucket, and bow, sit for Reras, and then we'd go to Lunger, and three meals a day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner were all Lunger just dal, roti, rice, and I never, I don't remember feeling healthier than I did at that time, and I really got a taste for dal and rice and chai and achar. So I think there were a number of factors that after the, the D block, the Ranjit Avenue years, that brought things back in. I think the, the work of the staff who was here, you know, Jagat Guru was uh, a big, huge part of that. There were a number of other staff members who were became much more solid and consistent. Um, we had our own environment where we could we could control much more here on campus, even though the campus was nowhere near as beautiful and, and well established as it is now. It was finally being born in the way that he had envisioned it. I mean, the thing that sort of stuck with me is when we were at his house in Delhi, and he named the school and he he said i want the school to be named Midipiti academy 
and he's gave the, the motto, the school motto that's a part of the um, logo of the school. He, he said, this is what I want the school to work on. Um, the, that the, the love of the ahead is going to be your guiding star. <laughs> Come here. I have seen your program. You have done it from heart. You have bowed your heads to it. And hopefully it will be all successful as we proceed. We are not established yet. I agree with you. We have a lot to learn and a lot to teach to each other. But one thing we are doing, we have made it a home. And please remember, <coughs> isn't the life that matters, it is the courage you bring to it. And over and above understand the words of Nanak, we are born as spiritual beings, to become human. We are not born human to become spiritual. Religion has betrayed us from last 3,000 years and it has become nothing but a ritual. It is a ritual to fight, a ritual to claim, and a ritual to insult. Let us rise above as a Khalsa nation. Be pure in our heart and our deeds, and our imagination, so we can let the world know there are people of strength who have character, who have spirit, and who really practice the Guru's teaching. I have kept my word against medical advice to visit you as I promised. If I live for the next year, I'll visit again. But my question to you is, am I that important? Are you of the important? My answer to myself is, you are important. Therefore, you must start pick up your load now and proceed. Rise and spread over the world and spread the word of Nanak so that you can serve and uplift the spirit of humanity. That little girl of mine wrote the poem of the freedom in the essence of my spirit, I am free in the concoction of all that stuff you were talking. But may I tell you, my dear child, 
without discipline even god cannot rotate the earth it's very essential and those who discipline their life now shall meet prosperity success virtues values and strength we are not a covered nation neither we are small we contain god in our head and guru in our heart and that's how we proceed and that's how i want you to proceed wah guru ji ka khalsa wah guru ji ki fateh Sleeping during the classes. Yeah, yeah, yeah.